question, who is the guilty party? Should we start at the beginning where African-Americans sold your, the African-American ancestors into slavery and to a slave trader who eventually sold the African-American ancestors to slave owners? The slave owners who had no success and no luck trying to make a Native American who land they took become their slave because the Native American ran away. Well, they thought it was fine then to use African-American who didn't know the country, didn't know the language, didn't know the religion, and they didn't run away. So I asked, why reparation? Well, slavery is because to the year 2021, still talking about reparation, not equal education, not to compare a game to a horrible period in, our, in my life, but as I fought shoulder and shoulder with my fellow football brothers of other races, I saw struggles they were encountering the same as I. And I heard them speak to their parents of problems my family were dealing with as well. If a black player would have been given something different than any other player, it would have created problems within the team, separation and division. Ezekiel 18.20, the righteousness of the right shall be upon him. The son shall not suffer for the crime of the father, nor the father suffer the crime of the son, unless either father or son know beforehand the father or son was a criminal. To help any race, provide them with a good quality education and help incentivize through opportunities with responsibilities, which helps generations in the future. If reparation is a free, is a fee, or a correction for a terrible sin of slave owners, government, and others, but we punish the non-guilty party, if it, is, is it not creating division, a separation? This nigga, man. All right, Shalom, I'm Mike. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honey, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Raka, Kodash. I'd like to give double honors to the positive elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say Shalom to the elect that teaches word now on true faith sincerity. And yeah, today I just want to tie this lesson. He will not let thee go. You know, because as you can see, these t different talks of reparations just further prove that this is the generation what is, that uh, that these devils are the ones that actually put out their hands on us. Because we know all these Edomites have, but just dealing with slavery, you know, and, uh, recompense and compensation, this is the generation that actually did that, you know. This is the generation that actually had us in bondage, you know, and, and, and hardcore slavery, man. And that's why you got talks of reparations. Why? Because these are the ones that did it. Yeah, you had devils in the 50s hanging us, you know, in the 20s and, you know, things like that. But why is it this time, in this in this time period right here, this generation, well, reparations is now in the conversation? Because these are the ones that did it, man. You know? And matter of fact, let's start off with the scripture this nigga tried to pull out, which I don't know what version that was but this is the king james version ezekiel 18 and verse 20 it said the soul that sin of it shall die it says the son shall not the shall not bear the iniquity of the father neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son see so pretty much uh you know everyone you're gonna you're gonna um be rewarded according to your words not according to what your uh, your father did. You ain't getting punished for what your father did. Same thing with your son. Your son is not getting punished for what you did. You know? Everybody's getting punished according to their works, man. It said the righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him. See? Meaning what? Every time every time you come back, that righteousness is going to come upon you because you, you lived a certain lifestyle. So that's what you're going to get back. You know? It says... And the wickedness of the wicked shall be, shall be upon him. See, so you living wicked, wickedly, that's going to be your return. You know? Because now you see that this devil got that sour taste in his mouth now, man. You know? 
Matter of fact, let's jump up to verse 2. Let's get that. This is Ezekiel 18 and verse 2. It says, What mean ye that ye use this proverb concerning the land of Israel, saying, The fathers have eaten sour grapes, and the children's teeth are set on edge. See, so mean what? The fathers is, is doing wickedness, but it's going to be the children that's going to... Um, is, is that's going to feel the brunt of that wrath, man. No, man. See, you ain't you ain't going to eat nothing sour and your child going to taste that. You know? You ain't going to get hit in the arm and your child feel that. No, man. It says, as I live, said the Lord power, you shall have, you shall not have occasion anymore to use this proverb in Israel. See? Why? Because ultimately, matter of fact, continue on. It says, behold, all souls are mine. As the soul of the Father, so also the soul of the Son is mine. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. See? So, man, of what? You can't, this judgment is not being just being put off on somebody, just some random person. No, that judgment is going back to the same one that actually did it, man. You know? You wonder why this nigga died in a car accident because he, he you know, you might say it was just a bunch of random events put together. No. It was him getting his reward back, man. You know, or uh, 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 just a, uh, you know, a, a, a child getting hit by a stray bullet. Well, that was your how by smiling shot paying him back, man. Well, I said the soul that sent him, it shall die, man. You know, but now just getting back to the point, Esau is feeling that sour taste in his mouth. He got to actually come out and entertain that idea of reparations. Why? Because this is that. This is the same nigga that actually, like I said, this generation, you know, that actually, you know, did these things. Matter of fact, let's get this in. Uh, like I said, it's not just a bunch of random events. Why they want to talk about this during the fifties, or uh, during the sixties, or anything? Why is it in in this time where they actually trying to pretty much you, you entertaining that? Which you know, the real reparations is getting them motherfuckers. We don't want your money. We want you. You know. But the point is, is that they got to entertain this idea. Why? Because these are the same niggas that came up off of man. You know, so this is Ecclesiastes 41 and verse 7. It said, the children will complain of an ungodly father. See? And that's what they say. Yeah, that wasn't us. Or they, they always point out, uh, they dead, you know. Uh, uh, even on the other side, they want to say, well, there's no living slaves left. And how this nigga Hershey, you know, he tried to you know, uh, was that was Esau talking to him? Was pretty much saying how many, how much percentage of black you gotta be to even qualify, and you know. But that's this nigga complaining of an ungodly father, saying that that was the past, that was them. He would have never done that, not knowing it was him that was doing it, man. That's why you got a a a, a, a damn villa, you know, somewhere, man. That's why you got a summer home. That's why you got a winter home. You in the you in the Rocky Mountains. Snowboarding and shit. Well, that comes from being our ass in your past life, man. You know? It said the children will complain of an ungodly father because they shall be reproached for his sake. See? So this, this, these children right here are being reproached for what they have done in their past life. That's, why, that's, that, that's that sour taste they tasting in their mouth. They got to they gotta deal with it. Not a tab. They thought they were going to lead a tab to their children, but it actually came back around to them, man. You know? And it just further proves that you can't escape your how by Shem Al Shah, because a lot of these, you know, slave owners, you know, they pretty much died peacefully. You know, they was on their dove bed surrounded by their family. You know, they was um, you know, dishing out their inheritance. And they pretty much died at peace, man. But your how by Shem Al Shah brought them back again so they can receive their judgment. Matter of fact, um, let's get that in the book of uh, Numbers. It's the book of Numbers, chapter 14. In verse 18, it said, The Lord is long suffering and of great mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgressions, and by no means clearing the guilty. See? So it said, By no means clearing the guilty. So even though they died, they don't mean they got away. And the motherfucker might say, well, they went to hell. No, man. No, it's going to be made manifest who the wicked was. It tells you that um, 
after death, that's when the judgment gonna come. When the righteous, the name of the righteous gonna be manifest. But the wicked also, the deeds of the wicked gonna be manifest, man. You know? So it says, and by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children, see, unto the third and fourth generation. Meaning what? That's the time they come back. So let's just say you got away. But now you came back and you was, um, you came out with no limbs, man. This is how that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah get to you, man. No, the wise have fear of him that uh, can put your, uh, deliver your, your, uh, your, your soul in hell, man. Meanwhile, put you in a body that you can't get out of. Put you in a situation that you can't get out of, man. You know? But the Lord will vision you these devils in the third and fourth generation. This is that generation that, that you know, that that's that last generation that had us in slavery, you know, and putting all this hell on us. They back the day now to pick up the tab, man. You know, that's why I said the children is being reproached for the side. It's not like uh, we reproaching them for the ones that uh, the generation before. No, we we punish we we, we reproaching them for those those pictures, uh, those hangings and those the gator bait and all this, man. That's why you see a lot of photos there in black and white, or you have different um. Old postcards and everything, uh, what Gator Bait or Mega Ball on there. They now they back the day to pay for these things, man. You know, you 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 got to come back and um, you got to uh, that's why. And then also said the teeth are set on edge, so like I said, that 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 tingling taste in their mouth, man. They know that's one thing that these devils don't want to uh, deal with is slavery. And that's another, um, one, another reason why, you know, these so-called Christians, they don't want to deal with reincarnation. Why? Because reincarnation is, is what submits the judgment. It will justify the judgment. You know? Matter of fact, um, let's get some real quick. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Bear with me. Yep. This is uh first... First Kings 21 and 29. It says, See if thou hast Abraham humbled himself before me, because he hath humbled himself before me, I will not bring evils in his days, but in his son's days will I bring the evil upon his house. See, so as you can see, the Lord was going to judge Ahab, but the Lord said he's not going to bring evil in his days. Even though he repented, he, you know, he, he humbled himself. The Lord said he ain't gonna he ain't gonna get him in this time, but in his son's time, meaning when when he come back, that's when he's gonna get him. You know? Because if he if he humble himself, why the Lord gotta judge his son? No, that just lets you know Yahweh Bashmel Shah gonna get him back in his next lifetime, man. And that's what you see in these old Edomites, they was they were they got away sky free, so to speak. By, by, by the way of them, you know, like I said, they died on their deathbed. You know, they was at peace when they departed, so to speak. But now we're in a time where the Lord is bringing the evil upon them, man. You know, though I said that the, the the inheritance of sinners' children is going to be cut off, man. This is their inheritance. All that that time they've been putting in, being our ass. You know, they built this place off our backs. Now they able they they at the point where they actually enjoying the spoils, so to speak. You know, enjoying the America that we have built. But now they're being called out. They being brought up on charges now, man. You know? Just going back, reincarnation justifies the judgment because they, they got away this time. I mean, last time, but they came right back around to get it. You know? So, matter of fact, let's get this in the book of... um. This is the book of Ecclesiastes 16 because how about some of shots not finna just... Let this slide or give you a slap on the wrist. No, man. It, it'll be a, it, it'll be a, 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 you will marvel if anyone escape un, uh, unpunished, and that's and that's the point. Like I said they got away scot free, so to speak. They thought they did because they died, not knowing the Lord brought them back on his on his, uh, the uh, the, uh, the the crime scene. 
you know, because this nigga Hershey, he pointed out that the, the natives, they even got their land too. So you need to be vouching for them too as well, man. It ain't like you got, uh, the natives got their land back, you know. But the point is, is these devils, they got they got judgment coming their way, man. You know. So this is the book of um, Ecclesiastes, Sirach 16, and verse 11. It says, and there that be, it's like, hold on, let's see. Come on. All right, yeah, this is Sirach 16 and 11. It said, and if there be one stiff neck among the people, it is marvel if he abs escape unpunished. See? So this, it, it, it is marvel if you doing anything against contrary to your how by Shinawa Shah. You know, it is marvel if you escape unpunished. You know, a hey, description, a hey, you jump up, uh, the, uh, um, pointed out that the Lord then then spared the, um, those giants, which that was the the, um, the sons of gods in that day. The Lord and the the whole flood came upon that world. The world. It wasn't like it was just uh, it it was the sons of God on them, man. You know, but the Lord ended up saving Noah and his own um, family, man. His house it pointed out Sodom and Gomorrah. You know, uh, Egypt. The Lord judged all them, man. The Lord didn't just let that slide. It was a slap on the wrist. No, it was a it was a thorough judgment concerning those situations. How much more now? How oh, I said it is marvelous if, if if he escaped unpunished. How much more now? This man got to pay for man. It says for mercy and wrath are with him. See. He is mighty to forgive and to pour out displeasure. See, so the Lord, he's mighty to forgive, you know. Hey, hey, how was I even um, say that woman was, she was actually caught in the act of adultery. It wasn't like it was accusations. No, she was actually caught in the act of it, man. But the Lord had, uh, you know, the, the power to pardon her, man. You know, but also... He is he 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 is mighty to pour out displeasure too, and that's what you about to see. This the displeasure of the Lord is about to be poured out upon this place, upon this devil. Or tell you the judgment is going to be according to his anger and his fury, man. You know, it says as his mercy is great, so is his correction also. He judges a man according to his works. See, so that's what you're going to see. That this man is. He's now being brought up on charges, and he's gonna get judged accordingly, man. It tells you that she's gonna be rewarded double, man. And what has this place pretty much gave unto you? Nothing but death, sorrow, or tears. That's why it tells you that in uh, uh, Revelation. That's why it says not gonna be no more tears, no sorrow, nor death, because this is this nigga that's causing all these things, you know. And, you know, you might have a, a simple nigga or even might or just regular old American might say, get over slavery. But if you still, if that lick still hurt, you can't ignore it, man. You know, you can't ignore it, man. So that's why you see in this time that they're being reproached that that even just that, that thought or that conversation of reparations being brought up. Let's you know, it was these ones, this generation right here. Why I had to be in this generation where these things are being spoken about? Because they're the ones that put the most hell on us, man. It says, the sinner shall not escape with his spoils. See, so that lets you know this what this nigga came up. These were the spoils. It says, and the patience of the un of the godly shall not be frustrated. Meaning what? We're going to beat their ass, man. That's why I say here's the patience and the faith of the saints. What? We we get a hold of these Edomites. That judgment come back, you know, uh, that's what we're crying for, judgment, man. That the Lord... Uh, recompense this nigga, man. You know, but it says it's not gonna be frustrated, and that's what we see now. The Lord is stepping in on by our behalf. So, matter of fact, let's get this um the book of Ecclesiastes, because at the end of the day, they think they got away. You know, they able to, they were being our ass. They able to, they were, they was terrorizing the planet Earth. You know, take these resources, hijack continents. You know, and, and it, it never stops with these devils. They just keep going, man. But it's going to get to a point where all these things stop, man. It's going to get to a point where, you know, we going to have the shoe kicking your ass then. You know, you going to have toes for teeth, so to speak. 
You know, so this is Ecclesiastes. I mean, Ecclesiastes 8 and verse 11. It says, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. See, because you thought that you was you were going to be able to, uh, you know, get away because ain't nothing happened to you yet. You know, you were able to do all these abominable things and nothing came your way. It says, therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. And that's what you see these men. They have pretty much went all out, man. It was, it was at a certain point where this this, this devil had uh, tried to put this place in a certain light. You know, they just some God-fearing Christians. That's, that's American. But as you can see now, it, the, the, this place is getting worse and worse, man. You know, it's fully set in them to do evil. It says... Though a sinner doing evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged. See, yeah, you see this man, he continually doing evil. And he's still in power. This man's still in power out of all these things. You uh, made uh, homosexuality a, a, a trend. A trend. That's something cool. That's that's so-called the norm. You know, you, you, you uh, pretty much uh, even, you got 3D printed meats. You know, and not just scratching the surface, man. But you doing you you sinning abundantly, you doing wickedly abundantly, and you still in power. It said, Yet yeah, surely I know that it, it shall be well with them that fear the most high, which fear before him. See? But it shall not be well with the wicked, see? Neither shall his shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he fear not the most high, see? So pretty much at the end of the day, all this is gonna come to a halt, man. And it's going to get to a point, you're going to have to get judged. That's what it's going to, it's going to get to a point where this man, is, he's, he's going to have to receive his judgment. He's going to have to drink of that cup. Double of that, a straight shot of that thing. You know, no matter how much your throat hurt, no matter how much it, it burns, you got to drink that cup, man. A, a, a double portion of it, man. So you're not going to escape. You're not going to escape. You got to, you know, what is it, face the music, so to speak, man. You got you to gotta go ahead and just take this L because that is is already set in stone. So, matter of fact, I'm going to end it off on this, the book of Ecclesiastes, Sirach, chapter 5, and verse 4. It says, Say not I have sinned, and what harm have happened unto me? See? Because that's what this nigga say. He say that, you know, yeah, we did this. That was a horrible thing. But, you know, get over it. It was, it was, that's why this nigga, um, Hershey, wanted, once again, pointed out, slavery ended over 130 years ago. What they got to do with anything? This man still ain't got his ass beat for it. There wasn't no justice that came behind those actions, man. You know? So that's what this man is saying. What harm happened to me? He he and he'll point out, well, we gave you jobs, we gave you an education, an uh, opportunity. No, man. You didn't get your ass whooped. That's that's what's pleasing. That's that was gonna solve everything. You know. It says, For the Lord is long suffering, he will in no wise let thee go. See? So as you can see, because hey uh Scripture says, you that in Psalms 50, it said, Thou thought that I was one as thyself. Why? Because this, the Lord allowed this man to, to run his course, to do what he had to do, to, to be where he at now. But it said, The Lord is long suffering, meaning what? It's a build up to your um, demise. It's a build up to your destruction, man. He's not going to let you go. He's not going to let this slide. It's going to be a slap on the wrist. No, you got to get paid back for what you have done. You're not going to. Payback for what you you're gonna get paid back, <laughs> you know. It's, it's gonna be a real, a true compensation, a true uh, recompense, you know. And that's just pretty much putting you in slavery and bend your ass like how you did us, man. Those are the true reparations, and that's what you how about Shimon got and set got in store for these devils. So yeah, I can I just hold it with edifying. I want to give all praise and glory to you. How will about Shimon Shai, by Shimon Double honors to the pastor and elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say shalom to the elect. Let's teach his word in our true faith and sincerity. DTA, abide the ball.